Hello friends, it's Alora. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing my very large TBR. So while I have been a book lover for my entire life, I've only really been a book collector for the past five years or so. Around that time I began working in a bookstore and so I was just exposed to a lot of books. I had more money to spend for one and I spent it on books. I was around the books all the time so I found a lot that I wanted to buy and then also I had access to ARCs, ARCs, advanced reader copies. So I was able to take a lot of those home. Depending on how you look at it, this may be fortunate or unfortunate, but the truth of the matter is I have nearly 200 books that I own but have yet to read. This is a little bit excessive. Anyway, about three or four years ago I went through a Marie Kondo stint where I got rid of 40 or 50 books. That was the one thing that I regretted from my entire tidying up my life experience. I wish I hadn't gotten rid of any of them. So I'm not planning on getting rid of any of these books necessarily, but I just want to kind of take account, look at what we have going on. So if you are excited to see this crazy mess that is the floor of my living room, stay tuned. We're going to go through them one by one and then at the end of this video I'll have a tally, I'll keep track, and, and we'll discuss the obscene number of books that I have. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, State of Wonder by Anne Patchett, Little Bee by Chris Cleave, The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simmons, The Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce, The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami, Messenger by Lois Lowry, The Story of a New Name by Elena Ferrante, The People in the Trees by Hanya Yanagihara, Smart Women Finish Rich by David Bach, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, The Pirate's Wish by Cassandra Rose Clark, The Vault of Dreamers by Kara M. O'Brien, Matched by Ali Condi, Other Bound by Corrine Duveas, Dragon Queen by J.L. Gibson, the Severed Tower by J. Barton Mitchell. Starters by Lissa Price. Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. The Cry of the Ice Mark by Stuart Hill. Empire of Dust by Eleanor Herman. Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. The Evolution of Mara Dyer and The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. The Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield. Being in Nothingness by Jean Paul Sartre. Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. The Pleasures of the Damned by Charles Bukowski. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carol Lynn Mackler, Alienated by Melissa Landers, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, Oops, Beta by Rachel Kahn, Midnight City by J. Barton Mitchell, The Summer Country by James A. Hetley, Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb, Heart's Blood by Jane Yolen, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Selection Stories, The Prince and the Guard by Kira Cass, Ghost Flower by Michelle Jaffe, a Man Without Words by Susan Schaller. Blade of Fire by Stuart Hill. Michelle Obama by Peter Slavin. A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. A Tale of Two Castles by Gail Carson Levine. Wildwood by Colin Malloy. Dragon's Breath by E.D. Baker. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Le Angle. The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove. Ashes to Ashes and Fire with Fire by Jenny Hahn and Siobhan Vivian. The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes. Every Exquisite Thing by Matthew Quick. Fixing Delilah by Sarah Ockler. Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. One by Sarah Crisson. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Keep Me Posted by Lisa Beasley. Solitaire by Alice Oseman. Too Late by C. Hoover, Legend by Marie Lu, Firefight by Brandon Sanderson. Clearly these are not in a good order. <laughs> Julie and Julia by Julie Powell, Wizard of the Grove by Tanya Huff, Turnabout by Margaret Peterson Haddix, Leave Me by Gail Foreman, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, September Girls by Bennett Madison, Vision in White by Nora Roberts, After You by Jojo Moyes, Never, Always, Sometimes by Adele Said, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han, To the Bright Edge of the World by Eowyn Ivy, The Siren by Kira Cass, Atlantia by Ali Condi, Another Day by David Levithan, Anything Could Happen by Will Walton, Starting Point by Hayao Miyazaki, The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling, Ascending of Dragons by Jane Yolen, The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, Inheritance by Christopher Paolini, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, Grimm, an anthology with multiple authors including Ellen Hopkins, Julie Kagawa, and Amanda Hawking, The Ring and the Crown by Melissa De La Cruz, Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody, Bloodhound by Tamora Pierce, Mastiff by Tamora Pierce, Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. 
Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, The Black Prism by Brent Weeks, The Wind Up Girl by Paolo Bacciagalupi, Once Upon a Curse, and A Prince Among Frogs by Edie Baker, Animal Vegetable Miracle by Barbara Kinsolver, Levin Thumps and the Gateway to Foo by Obert Sky, The Uses of Enchantment by Bruno Bettelheim, Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins, Cooked by Michael Pollan, Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, No Safety in Numbers by Dana Lorenz, Madame Picasso by Anne Gerard, Wouldn't Take Nothing for My Journey Now by Maya Angelou, The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory, Let's Get Lost by Adele Said, Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks, The Book of Broken Hearts by Sarah Ockler, Proof of Forever by Lexa Hillier, Falling Into Place by Amy Zhang, Girls with that AZ combo represent Add More Ing to Your Life, A Hip Guide to Happiness by Gabrielle Bernstein. Positive Discipline by Jane Nelson. Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Sean Covey. It's a little bit late for that now. <laughs> Living Big by Pam Grout. Staying on the Path by Dr. Wayne Dyer. May Cause Miracles by Gabrielle Bernstein. Decisive by Chip Heath and Dan Heath. What Color Is Your Parachute for Teens by Carol Kristen and Richard Bowles. A little late again. Where Beauty Lies by Elle and Blair Fowler. Embracing the Now by Gina Lake. Money and the Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. How to Get Happily Published by Judith Applebaum. Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith. Sweet Little Lies by Lauren Conrad. The Au Pairs by Melissa De La Cruz. I Remember You by Kathleen Davitt Bell. Read for Your Life by Pat Williams. Mystic Warrior and Mystic Quest by Tracy and Laura Hickman. Briar Rose by Jane Nolan. And then a bunch of books by Piers Anthony, including Ogre Ogre, Nightmare, The Source of Magic, A Spell for Chameleon, Dragon on a Pedestal, Centaur Isle, and Castle Rudna. I also have The Tenth City by Patrick Carmen, and Femme Fatale by Dominique Mannion and James Ursini, The Righteous Mind by Jonathan Haidt, The Great Philosophers by Stephen Law, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, and Lila by Robert Piercig, Fragile Things by Neil Gaiman, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, White Hot Truth by Danielle Laporte, Spirit Junkie by Gabrielle Bernstein, Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch, The Coaching Habit by Michael Bungay Stainer, The Stranger in French by Albert Camus, And I Darken by Kirsten White, The Everything Store, Jeff Bezos and the Age of Amazon by Brad Stone, High Performance Habits by Brendan Bursch, Shard, the Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, Packing for Mars by Mary Roach, Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter, A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche, The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye, The Chaos of Stars by Kirsten White, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapetis, The Walled City by Ryan Grodden, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, Shipbreaker by Paolo Bacciagalupi. I somehow managed to miss... The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater, The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, Tin House Spring Fling, The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, Spinster Making a Life of One's Own by Kate Bollock, The Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace, Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham, The Edge of Never by J. A. Redmersky, Orlando by Virginia Woolf, Sophie's World by Jostine Gardner, Tin House Beauty, The Complete Works of Wallace D. Waddles, and By the Seat of My Pants Anthology from Lonely Planet. And finally, Faithful by Alice Hoffman. All right, friends, that is it. Thank you for watching. What do you think about these books? Are there any of them that stuck out to you that you think that I should read right away? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, tell me what you think about endless TBRs. Do you think that it's a good thing to have lots of books that you haven't read? Personally, I think it's wonderful to support authors. I don't regret any of these purchases. Even if I never end up reading them, I'll still keep them and have them in my personal library. So if any time a friend wants to borrow them or if I ever have kids down the road who want to read them, they'll be there. Again, it's just wonderful to support authors. It's wonderful to support independent booksellers. And so none of these are purchases that I am upset about. But let me know, if you were me, would you keep all of these books or would you get rid of the ones that you are pretty sure you're never going to read? Also, how do you decide which book to read next? Do you just randomly pick one? Do you go off of your mood? Do you organize them based upon genre or do you organize them based upon which one looks the most appealing through the least appealing? I'm not sure how I want to put them on shelves. I, I need to build some custom shelves for this room because the room is vaulted. So it's a little tricky to put bookshelves up since the walls aren't flat, but I'm planning on designing and creating some custom wooden bookshelves. So I'm just trying to figure out how I should organize them. All right, friends, thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Until next time, sending you love.